Hi, this is Pete with F Body Warehouse, and today what we're working on is a 1979 Camaro. We just brought this car back in from paint, and now it's time to reassemble it. What we're going to do, we're going to try to put as many of these products on the car that are new, because when you have a new paint job, you can't put on, you know, old faded parts. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you how to install the 1978-1979 Camaro upper, upper Grill, and this is available in new reproduction. This unit is designed to fit 78 and 79 Camaros. It's a nice, it's a sturdy constructed unit. The fin area is tight, very rigid, and the fit is really nice on this. Now one thing to note is on 78 and 79, this inner structure here, which is a fiberglass reinforcement for the headlights and the upper nose cone, varies. 78, 79 are one style, 80 and 81 are another. So what you're going to find is on a 78 and 79 grill, the mounting points are going to be slightly different than they would be on an 80 and 81 Camaro. You can make this work on an 80 and 81 Camaro, but you'll have some modifications. Now there's always another factor, which is the joys of working on 30 year old cars. And that is that this car has one of the new OER urethane nose cones on it. So when we did our initial test fit, one thing that we found was that it, it does sit in properly the way it's supposed to, but our mounting points are just a hair off on the left and in the right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this exactly where we want it, and then we're going to be using a drill, and we're just going to drill a small pilot hole into that fiberglass and into the backer of that urethane so that our left and right upper and lower mounting tabs are going to be exactly where we want them. This won't affect the structure of the nose in any way and it's something you can do at home with a drill. It takes about five minutes to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So what we did, we took a sharpie marker and we went into our holes and we marked our holes exactly where we want them. Now we're just going to slide the grill back out and as you can see, you can see our mounting pilot areas that we're going to be drilling. We'll go ahead now and we'll drill those out and we're going to put the grill back in. Alright, so we drilled all our holes out. Take our grill, we're going to set it back in place onto the car. And you can fluctuate a tad side to side on this. Once again, this is an OER replacement nose clone on this car. And there are very super light variances from that in GM. Then you're going to have five mounting screws. And we're just going to go through and run those in. After I drop them all over the place. Hi. We lined everything up and we started all our screws. And we just got them a couple turns in. And what it does is it makes it so you can uh, still have some adjustment. If you turn them all in and tighten them all down right out of the gate, what will end up happening is you'll get to one or two of the last ones. And if it doesn't line up perfectly, you're going to have to loosen them all back up. So what we did is just finger tighten them a couple turns. We'll go back through and we'll tighten it down. And we will be installed on our upper grill. You just want to get them tight. You don't need them screaming tight against it. So that's the install on this. We're really going to set it off once we have the rest of our trim in place. And if you look at our other videos, we're going to be shooting a video in just a minute on installing the lower grill onto this car. But as you can see, just looking at them, it really helps a, a car with a new paint job to have new grills on it. So as always, you can find all these products at fbodywarehouse.com. If you check out our YouTube videos, we've got well over 100 different installation videos for your 70 to 92 Camaro and Trans Am. We appreciate it. Look forward to working with you.